back when Ross was building golf courses, as opposed to designing with bulldozers, they had to use the natural contours of the land. And it required much more ingenuity and much more creativity to use the existing topography to create 18 holes that fit together. I'm clueless as to how they figured this out, but Donna Ross figured it out here at French Lake. Hard to imagine the guys playing with cliques, mashies, and hitting shots on this golf course. I was hitting my super high-tech titanium three wood into some of these greens. You got a par four out there, it's 460 yards. You got a par five, it's 665 from the back tees. The fact that guys like uh, Hagen could come out here and shoot some scores is remarkable. If you keep it on the fairways, very fair golf course, some visual challenges. Donald Ross liked to move his bunkers around so they look like they're in different places than they actually are. So you might have a tee shot that you think a bunker is in play. You go out to the fairway, you see in fact that that bunker was another 80 or 100 yards down the fairway. It wasn't in play at all, but it affected you on the tee shot. So uh, great stuff like that. A lot of times you're on an elevated tee, you drop into a valley and hit to an uphill green from a side hill lie. There's a lot of challenge here, especially from where we played on the Ross tees, the bronze tees. Having said that, it's fair. Everything's out in front of you. So Donald Ross tells me, don't leave the ball short there unless I can flop the ball up in the air because then if I hit a low runner, I'm back behind the green. I got the same shot I had over there, which as I've already proven, I don't actually have. Oh, I no. wanted to see that go in for two. The green's very interesting, very kind of uh, classic era architecture of the teens and the 20s. Some crowns in them, lots of slope and undulation. So you can't really cut them down short and make them super fast, otherwise they'd be unputtable. So a little bit slow, you really have to hammer the ball to get it to the hole, play with confidence, go, go after the shots, which is great. Here at the Ross course at French Lick, it doesn't take long to figure out that this is the stuff you got to avoid. When you go in the clubhouse, the original scheme for the golf course, the routing design that Ross did almost 100 years ago, is here for you to review, which is a nice thing. The front page from the, from, uh, the local paper when Walter Hagen won the PGA Championship here in 1924 is also here. So you're here, you have a touchstone with history in addition to a great golf experience.